Hey, welcome to Ant Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play The Little, Little Flower, Flower Shop. Shop. We don't have a box. Uh, no box. So, <laughs> just pretend. Yes. Um, Alright, so Little Flower Shop is another one of Dr. Finn's games designed by Steve Finn, mm -hmm. uh, published by Dr. Finn's Games. Um, for one to four players, plays in about 20 to 30 minutes, and we are going to be card drafting, set collecting, matching our way to a beautiful flower shop window. Little flower shop, yes. Yeah. Keep in mind, these are all prototype components. Yes. So they do not reflect what the final product will be. Right. But again, this is on Kickstarter, and uh, we'll take it to the table and show you how it plays. All right, welcome to the table. Uh, as you see, we have the little flower shop. <laughs> two little flower shops. Two little flower shops, actually. Uh, set up for two player. Now we're going to be playing the two player variant mm -hmm. of this game, which uh, changes up the way the whole draft mechanism works. And this game is really based around a drafting mechanism. Uh, so, what we're essentially trying to do is create the window mm -hmm. of our little flower shop by uh, putting in a number of vases uh, that Actually, we're allowed to hold up to eight of them. Mm -hmm. uh, you're allowed to get three baskets, uh, and we're going to be filling our vases. And only full vases count, not empty vases. Right. And we're going to be filling them with flowers, flowers that match the, the symbols, which we'll talk about as we go along. Uh, so to set up for two players, we each have our play mat, which is our window. We each have three of the starter vases for our player color. Mm -hmm. A cash register. We have our uh, money. Mm -hmm. Out and we have our deck of cards that we'll be playing through. So this deck of cards contains all sorts of different things. It, it has uh, customer contracts. It has flowers. It has baskets. Baskets. It's salaries, which Basics. is more money yeah. uh, that we're going to be drafting from, and we'll be going back and forth uh, f over the course of three rounds. At the end of the third round, we're going to score our flower power, mm -hmm. which is uh, indicated by these little petals here, uh, to see who has the most and who has the bestest little flower <laughs> shop so <Ripped. laughs> yeah so we will uh let's start it up and we'll show you how this thing plays all right all right so what do we do at the beginning of each round we're going to deal out now remember this is the two player variant so mm -hmm. we're going to deal out seven cards to every player which in the you still deal seven cards for the others as well you just have more people to pass around yes with, so that is correct this will mitigate the fact that there's only two of us. <laughs> right. So how this game would normally go is we would play a card um, into our play area. We would put this, depending on which round it is, on a certain side of our our uh, flower shop window, and that will you know. So rounds one and three, we put the cards here. Round two, they'd go here, and that would be the direction we pass our hands after we draft the card around the table, so everybody's going to get a look at everybody mm -hmm. else's hands. But in a two-player game, drafting back and forth, right. you kind of need more cards, right? It's just not enough to make this uh, you know, balanced. So with the two-player variant, we're going to actually be doing things in a slightly different order. So we're going to be playing a card, selecting a card to play initially. Then we're going to be playing it. Then we draw a card each discard one, mm -hmm. and then pass the hand. Right. And we're going to do that until we're out down to our last card. So it's going to move pretty quickly. It sounds a little confusing, but it's really not. Uh, so so we're going to go ahead, and out of all these cards, you basically just decide what you want to play into your shop. Um, what you do have an option, though, is if you don't want to play it right into your shop, you can play it into your storage area on the left side of your board, where you're allowed to hold up to four cards. So I put my card that I chose to keep down in this keep area, mm -hmm. which is the bottom down here. Yes. And then we'll simultaneously reveal and play our cards once uh, Anthony's picked. Once I pick. All right, so <laughs> I'll pick that one. I will put these aside to... For now. And it doesn't matter which side of the two player, because we're always going to pass the same play. So we're going to play our first card. All right. Oh, all right. So I guess oh, we, we both do the same thing. thing. So <laughs> now, as you see, this fl the flower print matches the print on this face. So I can actually place the flower in the vase that matches. Mm -hmm. Uh, any of the white flowers, you just really need to know the number of flowers because they're wild. Mm -hmm. So any two flower bouquet can go here, any single flower can go there, right? Yep. All right, so that was it. We each draw a card now, and we're going to decide which one of the cards in our hand we are going to want to discard. All right, so I'll discard that. I'll 
discard that. We're going to pass the hands, and now we start over. So now we're going to play a card again. Cardigan, like a sweater. A <laughs> we're not playing any cardigans. <laughs> Just like a sweater. <laughs> okay. Ooh, uh, these are tough. Okay. Uh, I think I'll try this one. All right. All right, let's do that. These are for pass. All right, now we play. All right, so I decided to play. And I went with some money, which I'll another... store in my register. Yes, and that is public knowledge. Yep. We're each going to draw a card. We're going to burn a card. Well, not burn, but discard. And then we pass. All right. So what do we have? Interesting. Is it It's really? kind of interesting, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Maybe I'll yeah. go there. Yep. Ready? Yep. All right. I'm going to put a basket in my storage area for now, which yeah. I can play later at any time. As long as I pay the $5, I can hang that basket in my shop for victory points. All right. And... Uh, hmm. Get rid of that guy. All right. Yeah, it's kind of tough because you don't want to burn stuff that you might want. <laughs> you yeah. Know? But... but you clearly are burning stuff that I need. So <laughs> that's cool. Really? Yeah, that's cool. Um, hmm. All right. So that's the thing. Like, you put a vase yeah, out, okay. you end up having to are we... hope you get yeah, the card. All right. Picking from these. Yeah, these are the ones we're going to play. Mm. All right, you ready? Yep. Flip. All right, put another vase in. Draw a card. And discard one. And the drawing here is really just getting fresh cards into our hands so that we're not yeah. passing the same old cards back and forth. Well, yeah, again, it kind of simulates having. Yeah, I need to work on my strategy player. here. Okay, you ready? Right. Yep. Yep. I'm playing another card in my storage. And now we draw and discard. Interesting. Mm. I think I'll do this. Wait, these are passing. Where oh, are yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. Discard this. Pass them over. I know how bad you want to play, but... <laughs> <clears throat> I do, because I want to get cards out before you burn them. Mm -hmm. All right, those are for pass. All right, play it. Third one into my storage. All right, so we're going to draw one more. Discard. Pass again. Well, actually, this will be the last play. Yeah, it's a pass. No. You just discarded. Yeah. We drew, you discarded, and now we pass the last card. Oh, we do? Yeah. I knew you probably wanted this card. <laughs> what, the one you sent me? No, the one that you were going to play. No, I prefer the one you sent me. Oh, really? Okay. There you go. <laughs> well, there you go. There and we now go. And we'll put this in storage. And now you can, on your very last card, you can choose to pay $2. Yep. To actually just draw another card. You discard this one and draw one. Um, but you have to use the card that you draw, so something to keep in mind yep that's right okay All right. So, so that's round one that's it that was real down and dirty simple round one we're going to go through two more rounds and yep. then we'll do our final scoring right. all right so round two <clears throat> so we'll actually go through uh very quickly the rules around sort of reorganizing your shop okay. so at any point you can freely move stuff between your storage and in your shop and mm -hmm. like swap faces like for example i could say hey you know what I don't want these in my storage. I'm going to put them in my face. Right. Do that. You're allowed up to four here. If you ever draw a card that will put you over your max, you have to put it, one in the trash. At the end of the game, for every two cards in the trash, you lose a point. So you don't want to put cards in the trash. Right. But you can, again, you can reorganize however you want. Uh, it's your shop. It is your shop. Yes. It's your window. It is your window. So <laughs> here we go. We'll, we'll deal out seven cards. And start up round two. Round two. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, so choose a card to play. Um. In the pass pile. Yes. Yes. 
All right. Okay, you ready? Yep. Reveal. Uh, so a vase. So with my vase, I'm actually going to go ahead and just put those flowers right in there. All right. And I'm going to hang this basket. So I'll pay $4. Yep. And these are all things that are like, think of them as free actions you can just do. As long as you have the, uh, the money or the flowers mm -hmm. to do so, you can do it. So now you, gotta, you, have, so you have three slots to hang your baskets. Mm -hmm. And they're just straight up victory points at the end of the game. All right. All right. So we draw, discard, and then pass. some monies oh yeah yeah so I think I'm gonna do this one okay so oh wait no this is a pass oh it was just card yeah. pass <sighs> you usually confused about that I know I know it it's, moves so quickly it does yeah. all right sorry draw a discard pass okay all right well, your cards are terrible I know <laughs> <laughs> sorry I had no really control bad. over it. All right, so I'm going to hold on to that one. Okay, so now we play. Okay. I'm going to sell some flowers sell. in storage. So I'm going to sell, and I'm just going to sell these three flowers. So I'm selling three flowers. I get five bucks. Okay. Cha-ching. <clears throat> all right. Draw and discard. So you have to do this all You always one. say draw and discard. But I'm going to do it all <laughs> one motion. Draw, discard, pass. Done. Okay. Yeah, these are like really crappy. Yeah. In my hand. I mean, I guess I can hold on to that. All right. Okay. Ready? ready? Play. I'll put that in the flower pot. Okay. All right. Draw a discard. Pass. Oh, yeah. Draw a discard pass. Draw Keep discard. saying it, we'll remember it. Will we? I hope so. <laughs> there you go. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh, that's kind of good. Okay, I'm playing that. This is definitely like the better hand. Yeah. I think. All right. Okay, ready? ready? Yeah, so I'm going to sell my little three flower bouquet for five bucks. Okay, and I'm gonna buy this basket. Four dollars. Yeah, I might as well just buy my basket for five, since I have one in storage. Mm -hmm. Boom. All right, draw discard. What do I need to do here? Oof. Well, you're discarding. I know, I know, but I'm just planning ahead. That's all. <laughs> Get rid of that. Pass. Ooh. These are tough. Tough, tough. All right. Uh, maybe I'll try that one. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Play another vase. Got another basket, but I'm putting it in search. Okay. Discard. Pass. Oh. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to play that. Okay. Ready? Yep. Go. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> I, I like see. that. So All right. Draw a discard. Now I have to play it. Yep. So I will play, I guess I'll play it into my storage for now. Okay. All right, that was round two. Nice. Excellent. Our shop windows are looking beautiful. They are. Remember, at the end of the game now, just so everybody understands the scoring here, you're only going to score vases that have flowers in them. Correct. 
any that don't are going to go into your trash. Anything mm -hmm. in your storage is going to go into your trash. Yes. So that's all going to count against you. We're also going to get one additional victory point for every $5 we mm -hmm. have in the register. Yep. Um, there is a variant for scoring at the end, which we would actually Pick count points. Filler. Yeah, as a filler. So like baby's breath on all of these. And yeah. we're not going to go there because I only know that one. So. <laughs> uh, it's like I can't. I, like I said, oh, well, we can play with this variant. And you're like, well, what's a filler? Yeah, what's a filler here? <laughs> okay. All right, so we'll uh, we'll deal out round <laughs> All right. three. All right, so final deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, All right. Come on, big flowers. All right, so this is pick and play. What do we have? Oh, indeed. All right, I guess I have to pick that one. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Okay. And go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. You're so excited. <laughs> oh, I have all these empty <laughs> vases. 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 All right. Um, let's trash yeah. one of these. Yeah, get rid of that one. And pass. Okay, we're discarding, right? Trash and pass. That's it. Trash and pass. Here you go. Well, yeah, not trash, but discard. Oh, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so we, I don't wanna... we made it very clear. We're like, okay, we can't say trash them because we're not technically trashing them. But it just makes sense. It does. Uh, huh. All right, I can do that. Not ideal, but all right. yeah. I guess I'll do that. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Oof. All right, ready? Yep. Okay. okay yep. Draw. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, get rid of that guy. And one thing you can keep in mind too is when you when you have that sell order, you can sell a vase mm -hmm. on its own, or you can sell the flower pot with yeah. the flowers if as long as they match. To so kind of free up vase space. Vase space. Vase space. Yeah, so you don't leave yourself with an empty vase at the end right. that you can't fill. Hmm. This is tough. This is a tough call. Real tough call. Hmm. You know? Nothing I want to do with that yet. <laughs> I'm really stuck here. This is Why this is so challenged. Stuck? I don't know. You I'm have just... a very full window. I do, and that's I mean that's good and bad, right? Mm -hmm. So this is this is play, right? This is play. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw some flowers in storage for now. And I'm going to sell some flowers. So I'm gonna sell these flowers. For four dollars. Do I want to sell them in my vase? Sell the vase with it just to get rid of the vase? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Then I might need a vase later on. That is true. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. For a point? I don't know. I'm just going to sell these two. So I'll, I'll get four bucks. And I'm going to take my four bucks and hang my basket. Okay. For five bucks. In the basket. In the basket. In the basket. All right. All right. Uh, pick and pass. This is pick and pass? Pick, trash. Well, pick, discard, and pass. <laughs> discard. And pass. Mm. Ooh.
I'm trying to remember what's in that other hand. You know what I mean? Yep. Play? Play. Ooh. Yeah, this is tough. This is I guess I'll tough. just do that for now. I know, I'm like in a, I'm in like a bind here. I don't know what to do. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Make some salary. Okay. Alright. Ooh. Interesting. Very interesting. Ah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> what? That's funny. What's so funny? This. this uh, All right, I'll do that then. Is that all I can do? All right. All right. Ready? All right, I'm going to sell two flowers. Sell, please. Two flowers for $4. $4. $4. $4. Hustle. <laughs> Mess over here. All right. Yeah, your cash register is a total mess. Uh, so now we pick and discard, right? Mm-hmm. Pick. Oh, look at that. Let's do that, huh? Discard and pass. <sighs> Seriously? Yeah, this is just like... Well, that's brutal. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> we all we ended up with like all yep. of these. It's weird. Pick, discard, and pass. Pass. All really? Right. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to, since I only have three dollars, and that's not going to get me any points at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay the two dollars. Okay. And discard my final card. To hopefully pick up something I can use and I can't use it. it I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna pay two dollars. <sighs> I'm gonna forfeit a point, but I think I don't want to get. I'm gonna lose a point anyway mm -hmm. if I keep that. But if I get something, no. <laughs> I'll swap you. <laughs> Go yeah. do a flower swap. No, <laughs> uh, that stinks. Yeah. All right. I was hoping right. I'd get like a basket or something. Yeah. In the basket. All right. So that's it. that's it. Let's get ready. We're going to do some final scoring and see who shot Rain Supreme. <laughs> All right. So All right. we trash empty vases, which is really kind of a waste. Yeah. To sell them. Yeah. You should be able to sell them to an antique shop or something. I guess it just looks like. A dying store when you have Aww, a bunch of empty, empty flowers. Vases, but <laughs> empty I have these beautiful flowers anyway. Beautiful um, flowers. All right, yes. so I'm going to lose two points there. All right. Um, I'm going to lose one because I have two cards there. I don't right. have $5, dollars, so I'm not going to gain any money, mm -hmm. uh, any points, and you don't either. So it's really just the amount of petals we have in our shops. Right. So let's add them up real quick. Okay. So four, five, six, seven. Okay. I think I have 22. I have 25. Let me say, let me count again. Let's count out loud. All right, so I have uh, 3, 6, 10, 13, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, minus 2. Yeah, 22. 22. So I have 4, 4 is 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18, 19, 20, 24, 26, minus 1 is 25. Very good. Wow. Cool. Very close, close. Close game. Good Excellent. stuff. All right, cool. Let's go, uh, let's go talk about it. All right. There All you right. have it. The Little Flower Shop. I think we made good flower shops. We, we did.
Very good flower shops. It's like my dream. I'd love to have a flower shop. Who wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So like we said, this is, um, this is all prototype stuff. Um, we'll be going live on Kickstarter or might be live on Kickstarter by the time you see this video. That is um, correct, yes. So let's go through like we normally do. So okay. let's talk about um, replayability. Sure. Okay. So the little flower shop, as you saw, is a very light filler game, which is exactly what like you no ex pun intended. What? Your like baby's breath? Like filler? Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> so like you would normally come to expect from uh, Doctor Finn's games, mm -hmm. right? This it, it falls right into um, the style of his games, and which is yeah. great. You know, they're great fillers. Um, so as far as replayability goes, like this one is, you know, there's a ton of cards. Mm -hmm. Any game you have with really this drafting mechanic, you never know how it's going to go. Yeah. Right. So um, I think as far as uh, the combination of the the length of the gameplay with the amount of cards and the amount of different types of sets you can build mm -hmm. with vase and flower combos yeah. and other scoring opportunities, you know, I think the replayability here is is certainly high. Okay. All right. Great. I agree. Uh, wait. The way this is light. This is Very a light. super light game. Yeah. Yeah. If you can match, you can play this game. I think so. Yeah. If you and can tell the flowers apart. Yeah. And if you can tell flowers apart, you may not be able to play the variant if you don't know what. All the filler. Yeah. Are, with but... actual fillers. Unless it in comes... all seriousness, though, I mean, it's whatever's not the flower. So. Yeah. Yeah. I would. I don't know. I might have trouble with it. <laughs> I'm not right. good at that stuff. <laughs> all right. Um, theme. Theme. Uh, I, I think as far as like. Obviously, I'm not like drawn to a flower shop game right. as much as you are. Yeah. But I think as far as theme in a sense of what you're doing and how it ties into the actual gameplay itself, mm -hmm. I think it it nails it. Oh yeah. Right. For sure. Because you're putting plants in the pots, and it looks mm -hmm. like the plants in the pot. Mm -hmm. you're putting the plot the pots in your flower shop, and like yeah. it all it all makes sense. You know. What I mean? And from like, a from a design standpoint, it's kind of neat. And we'll talk about components in a second, yeah. but. Um, you know, the fact that like your vases actually sit on your on shelf, shelf yeah. and it, you know, it all matches and stuff, it's cool. Yeah, it, it definitely, the theme is there, um, it's strong, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, again, if you're into flower shops and all that stuff, sure, I yeah. mean like any of those types of themes that yeah. are a little off the beaten path, you know. Right. But What are you trying cool? to say? I don't know. About my Jason themes. Well, that's your taste, not mine. <laughs> now if it was like putting together the front window of like a fantasy adventure store where you're selling weapons and... <laughs> <laughs> and like magical suits of armor. Like, yeah. That'd be cool. That would also be cool. That would be cool too. Alright, maybe next time. Alright, uh, components. These were all prototype. But yeah, like yeah, we really can't. Um, we really can't. We can't uh, really comment on the component quality because it's, they were like, you know, most, if not all the Kickstarter mm -hmm. uh, prototypes we get are very, you know, bare bones. You know, right. Printed off of a printer with tape and, mm -hmm. and, and so they're all pieced together. But I think you saw probably what the what the art is going for mm -hmm. so you can make your own decision on whether or not you like it um, or whether it suits your taste right but I think as far as the way the pieces all fit into the window it's all yeah. pretty cool the way the, you know the, the, the thought behind what, what what's going on there so agreed um, what about setup setup is easy yeah I mean minutes yeah minutes for a light game it's oh, yeah. setup as know, it should be matches as it right. should be yeah, yeah. Um, audience, who's this for? Uh, anybody who likes set collecting and drafting. Or flowers. Or flowers. You know, I think if you're looking for something that is sort of a palette cleanser between heavies. Yeah. You know, or something that you're on the road and you want to just yeah, bring a game with you. This is so quick. Yeah. It's definitely something that, like, we could pull out, you know, mm -hmm. on a plane or somewhere. Yeah, you could something. probably you, know you could I mean? probably play this on a plane. Yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking about like well, size, size, size. Yeah. <laughs> not on that unless, last plane. Unless, unless you're unless you're flying Spirit Air, Spirit and Air tray tables like yeah, this big. You'd be lucky if you're playing <laughs> Jaipur on that on that flight because it's like <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's like all right. a game on an iPad Mini I or on your cell phone. Yeah, so. Let's talk about fun. Did you have fun? Uh, yeah, it's a fun game. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, actually. So more fun, I think, than you thought it was. Oh, yeah, I, I, you know, again, it's like the theme. You know, if I'm not pulled into a theme, then I'm like, eh. But yeah. you know, like, and you get me to play these games. I uh, do. with these themes, like you know, cottage garden and yeah. and, and patchwork and right. uh, this one. So again, you know, it was fun. It's mm -hmm. it's you know when you when theme aside, if you just go and you're matching the the symbols, you know, the plants with the pots and right. all that stuff. It's pretty cool and it plays so fast that it does. You yeah. don't have time to get sucked into it too and much. And there's a refreshing degree of 
of challenge. I mean, yeah. you don't feel like you're just playing like a matching game per se, but there is some strategy that goes into it. But I mean, you saw us even get hung up a couple times yeah. just trying to make the best decisions. Yeah, you'll even see as, small decisions. as you play more, you'll start to see what cards you need to start discarding to get them out. Right. Because you know you're handing it to the other player who's exactly. going to then take that and, and finish their window before right. you. Or you're right. like, oh, they need this certain, like, and you kept close. burning certain flowers yeah. I needed to fill my pots. Yeah. And I was hoping that they'd come back into circulation. Right. and they don't. And they don't. Yeah. Sometimes they do. Sometimes yeah. they don't. But if your opponents are paying attention, they won't. Yeah, they, they typically yeah. won't. So. So. Okay. Great. There you go. All right. Yeah. Excellent. So, obviously, this is on Kickstarter. We, we're not going to give it a final rating. Right. Um, but, as you can tell, we both enjoy the game. Uh -huh. uh, Excited to see how it comes out. Lo yeah. Love to see how it comes out. Yeah. Um, we've really enjoyed all of Dr. Finn games up we to have, this point, yeah. you know. Um, he's the king of filler games, yeah. honestly. Like, every game he puts out for fillers, you know, they're they're all really good, mm -hmm. they play really fast, and they're really tight, so. Yeah. Um, so go check it out. I'd say, you know, uh, we'll link the Kickstarter um, info. Uh, page info mm -hmm. on, uh, below the comments. Um, and, you know, go check it out for yourself if you like it. I, I haven't seen any of his, his Kickstarters go bad. Like, they always deliver, yeah, they always yeah. fund. It's, it's, mm -hmm. um, so it's as far as Kickstarters go, it's it's nearly it's a sure bet. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I wouldn't worry about that. If you like the game, you want to get on it. And usually uh, he bundles in some good deals with some of his other titles as well that you can kind of package up. So right. I say go check it out. Um, hope you enjoyed the playthrough, and we'll see you next time. All right, see ya.